This is Hayden and Mom. We went into this thinking we were going to have our normal, our healthy, everyday kid. And, and what we got took us for a surprise and changed our life. Hi, Daddy. Hello, everybody. They said, we're pretty sure that something's wrong with his heart, that he would need to be transferred to Johns Hopkins Children's Center. And to find out the news, it kind of it changes your world, that's for sure. We got the impression that um, Hayden might not make it, and they let me hold him for the first time. And they had us take a picture with him, knowing that that could be it. It could be the only picture that we would ever have with him. So here's a freeze frame image from the Echo which shows the very small left ventricle over here, which in real life is about the size of a cherry pit. The diagnosis was pretty quickly confirmed. And the much larger right ventricle, more analogous to the size of an avocado pit. They should be equal size. Hayden had hypoplastic left heart syndrome. So Hayden's initial problem was there was underdevelopment of the left side of the heart, the pumping chamber, and the aorta carrying blood to the body. So typically, most of us walk around with an oxygen level, a pulse ox of close to 100. Hayden's pulse ox um, during his first six months of life was probably 65, 70. The management is initially with medication and then a series of three operations. The first one immediately, so when he was three days old. The next one would occur when he was six months old. And then the third surgery, anywhere from th ages three to five. To see your your, your kid uh, with his chest <laughs> open this isn't, isn't uh, <laughs> the easiest thing to see. So, but but luckily being at an amazing hospital like Johns Hopkins Children's Center, we knew we were in the best place to be. People are just going out of their way to do absolutely amazing things for us. I, I don't think that care like that exists everywhere. I don't think that people like that exist everywhere in every hospital. We're glad that we're, we're in, the, in the Baltimore area and have an amazing hospital in our neighborhood. It's, those guys, it's, it's top notch, that's for sure. The way the hospital allows parents to be so involved in their children's care, I think that's huge. And just for the doctors and the staff to be able to take the time to listen to what we had to say and kind of include us in the everyday going on of, of Hayden's care was, was amazing. And as a parent, being heard by your medical professionals and having them almost value that opinion and let you work as part of a team, that's unbelievably meaningful. That's the sign of a successful program where the medical people and the parents are all working together to the same end. So with the second and then his third surgery, the Fontan, basically the point is to reroute blood flow. So part of that happens during the second surgery and part happens with the third. So when Hayden was four, uh, we had our third surgery performed. I have images of him, particularly from his last surgery, where he was not doing well. It was definitely the, the hardest of the three surgeries. They really didn't think that he would make it at a lot of times. Ah! Oh! Um, tackle. Oh! Bumble. But luckily, Hayden being Hayden, uh, he kind of, uh, kind of, made the turn for the better. The first time I saw his oxygen level in the 90s, I got very teary. I was like, 90. It was like 90, and then, then the next time we saw a 99, I was like, oh, like, oh my gosh. It was very exciting for us, because we had seen such non-traditional and scary numbers for so long, that something small like that for us was a big deal. Tackle. Good job. Right there. Almost two years now with being out of the surgery, it's, it's been a great two years. The doctors and nurses are really nice and, uh, and I like them. He tells me how he's been doing and actually it's pretty remarkable for a kid his age. In heart defect, bleeding precautions. Um, but under it, it has more, but I can't really flip it over. He's very tuned in to what's going on with him. I mostly want to be a football player or a basketball player, but, but I'm going to be a sportscaster. Hayden's not likely to be other than a major booster of his father when it comes to triathlons. This is something he's not likely to be able to do as he gets bigger. But it won't stem his enthusiasm, to be sure. He's a pretty enthusiastic little guy. Oh, oh back kick. Let's try that again. He, he doesn't 
play sports now. Okay, so what? But but look at him, look how amazing he is. Like, he's doing great in school. He, he has a great little personality. I say funny things. When I look at Hayden today, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at how far he has come. <laughs> I would not, during that darkest time, have thought that that would have been the case today.